We would spell it wrong today. Moodling magic. That's a new one. Moodling. Moodling magic. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, Saturday morning. Bright and early. Well, it's not quite bright and early, is it? Bright and breezy, whatever you want. Um, I'm in a new place today, as you can probably hear. It sounds like I'm in the back of beyond. I'm back on my perch upstairs. Um, so, fun and frolickings. Maybe not frolicking, but a lot of fun. And just for the lovely Suzanne, yay, I'm using my compass. So, oh, hey. so yes, I'm back up here because um, football's on. So I can't watch City on football. So it's been a bit crazy for me just recently because I can't watch him. Uh, I just can't watch it on telly. I get too, uh, you know, too involved. So I'm upstairs. Come on. I'm upstairs with my book. Just say hello to everybody if I can, if I can see you. Um, hi Denise, Sander, Louise, Tina, Michelle, Philippa. Still in bed, nice one. Val, Emma, Marcia, Joe, Liz, Karen, Wenda, Alison, Melissa. Melissa, you, you were ringing me to get in the room. Uh, Dan, Denise, Sylvia, Eva, so we've got some lovely, oh we've got, it's great to see everybody, we never get too many people at a weekend because, um, oh I hope it's in focus that looks like it's going in and out, in and out like no one's business. Um, I'll try this light on for you guys and just see if it's any better. I know you can see a little bit there, but I'm just conscious that it's trying to find the light. No, it's still doing it. Um, so bear with me. I can't change it now. No. Yeah, right, as we are. So, let's have a quick look at this then. Um, Sunny Yorkshire. Hi Teresa. Sunny in Devon. Sunny in Manchester. Well, I'm not in Manchester, what I'm talking about. Sorry about all the noise, it's uh, toasters, kettles and all that. I don't have none of that, do I? Normally. You know what I mean? Normally it's, it's just me here in a peace and quiet with a little bit of traditional music in background. Anyway, Suzanne, I think it's only right that I use my compass because you've got one and some straights and circles and all different shapes and I just thought it could do. I quite like, um, I like a mandala sometimes and I just want to get lost in how to do a mandala. Um, and I just think it's really not easy to do, but it's really nice to sort of focus on because you can really just go with it. So, I mean, it's entirely up to you whether you want to follow this mandala shape, but it's, I like to do it sort of, you can do it right in the middle if you want, because you want to sort of, um, let me just see, can you see about that big? So, I mean, I could do it smaller. I could do it bigger if I'd got a fatter paper. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's my other paper? I thought I had some other paper. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Oh, for crying out loud. It's never, ever going to try to be organised. Ever. It never works out. Organisation is rubbish. Got a lot to be blamed for. 
especially when you can't do it. Oh, I don't want to learn anything. Oh, where's it gone? Sack nose. Rubbish, rubbish, where's it gone? Oh, it's right in front of me. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, that's the one I did, I think it was yesterday. I've not embellished it much, but it's nice and bright, isn't it? So I have got this paper today. Come, excuse me, a minute. oh, it's gone old, is it? Hang on. Right, we'll use this. So I'm just thinking, can we get something a bit bigger on this? Oh, yeah, we could. Right, okay, so what we'll do, what am I doing? Let's get it flat there. Okay. Oh, I forgot why I didn't like this chair. It's like sitting on a, a wing nut. It's got a big, what you call it, uh, bolt sticking up out of it. It's not very nice. It's sort of like... Right, okay, I'm going with this. Dig it in. That's it. And just move your circle round. Move your circle round. So you're up here. This is the best way. It's moving the sheet around and not yours. Because you get all like that. And next minute, you know, you're like, what? How, where did I go with that? So the next one is, I'm just going to bring it in and increment. And that's just about two centimetres, maybe something like that. And again, not as heavy. Maybe bring it in a little bit more like that. Oh, see, gone over a bit. But I'm not too worried because I can rub that line out. And then the middle bit, a little bit more. Now, if you choose to use these pages, that's at uh, these these increments that's fine if you choose to use your own that's even better but you may not want to use all these so this might be that you use you go up to that one dip to that up to that dip, you know what i mean so just while we're doing that always keep your own there handy so you can see and then if there's a couple of lines you think right i'm going to do um a minuscule one like that there do that so i'll just stop in a minute so that you can see what i'm doing and then what I might do is just go back to the beginning, see if I'll get away with that. Just a little bit of... Uh... Okay, so we've got that. There's quite a lot there. All right, so I'll just... See if there's anyone else. Oh, we've got others. Uh, hi, Marjorie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Candy. Hi, Karen. Again, Kelly, Alison, Sonia. Val, not, not so sunny in Lock Longland. Hi, Caroline. Hello, Jane. Yeah, good. Hi Elaine, Philippa, hey up, come on, I was going to say shake your boot there, but in another way, there we go, no, nobody's throwing water on our Jane, it's not Sunday, we don't have a bath till Sunday, it's not for, so I'm just going to put another little, little one there, okay, so now what you can do is you can use all your curves and all your straight edges and anything you want of in this or you can use a ruler or you can use absolutely anything now i brought up my ruler i brought up all this 
I've brought all that, I've brought this, that, the other. Now, these have got rulers on here, so, you know, if you want to. So the first thing I'm going to do is very lightly, very lightly, I want to use another pencil, only because when I use a pen like that attached to a, a doofa, I end up stabbing myself, so I don't want to do that. Right, very lightly in half and then in quarters. Now, if you've got I bet I haven't even got one you know, a protractor you can just do this dead easy with a protractor because it's all measured for you. All this stuff and I haven't got a protractor, that's ridiculous. But you've got your curves, you've got everything. I, I'll have to go and, oh look, I have got a protractor. In here I've got a protractor and a protractor. I feel a trip to Amazon coming on. <laughs> what does that mean? Right. A protractor there. It's not the best one, but it does allow you to sort of do up to 45, up to 90 degrees. So, um, at 90 degrees like this, when you're using a protractor like this, you get your kids' protractors out. Half, it's just half in it. So the next one would be 45. And it's a good way of just making sure that you get this first part right. Once you've got this first part right, everything else seems to sort of just, um, flow it just sort of drops into shape because it, it's like you know getting the foundations right well it was oh look at that it's got a wiggly line on it oh i'm liking that look at that oh i like that watch oh <laughs> can you see it how cool is that? Right, so all you do, put your pencil in the hole where you've made your hole with your compass and you just keep your eye on that. See, that's not right. Can you see? That's not right. So, I was too busy wibbly wobbling. That's it. See what I mean? Keep your eye. Don't don't go off, Joe. Off on one, just because you've got a wibbly wobbly edge. And this really, if you put it against this, this will just fall into place because it's you've got something opposite it. It don't matter if it really is a little bit out. Really, honestly and truthfully, because it's going to be really different. It's really difficult to get them all same anyway. So it don't matter. You just, well, this is just guidelines now. And I notice when I've seen other people's that, you know, if you kept the middle part here symmetrical, that, oh, stop that screw. Let me get a cushion. I knew there was a reason I didn't sit on this chair. I've got a new cushion in there. Right? Oh, I'm going to have to get another one. Oh, hey. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't. No, I don't. I don't like that. I took it off. I don't like that. It's like any minute. It's like pop. It looks. It feels like it's. I've got a boil and I'm gonna pop it. You know when I'm sat on it. No, I don't like that. So now what you can do is go in between these. So we know at 45. So 45. So that's 22 and a bit, isn't it? So it's about there. Okay, 22 and a bit, so just keep going. Just go to each one and then go to 22, which is here. And you can eyeball it, really. Well, it's 
if it's 45 it's 22 and a half isn't it really so as long as we're putting that on there I know this might be a bit difficult for some people with your protractors and that but basically when I pull this away now I'll show you what I'm doing and you can do it by by eye by eye there we go now you see that's a bit out so I've got to look at the we found see yeah so it's one you won't believe that that's one out but it's made a big difference if I'm doing it like this anyway so 22 I'll pull this away a second anyway good morning is everyone all right good afternoon sorry is everyone all right I uh, nipped out to get some drinks this morning but it was like it was a sunny afternoon sunny afternoon That won't be with light. Wasn't me, I didn't touch it. You know who it was, do you? He's up here. He's on my shoulder. He's lurking. It's not Cecil B. DeMille, who is it? I've got it. Who's it? What's his name, Mark? Mark, what's his name? You can whisper it, me. What's his name? Francis Ford Coppola. What's his name? Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick. Look him up. Apparently he's a bit of a tyrant. And for those of you who thought he had a, a blow up boyfriend or imaginary one is here. We've got another light coming in now. Another light coming in. Right. You ready? It's like illumination time here. Look at that. That's, this is how I drew some of my stamps, you know, when I was doing my um, compass and that. It's a great way for compass doing and stuff like that. Yeah. Stanley Kubrick was Clockwork Orange. That was one weird film, that. One weird film. It, it's very unnerving. Can you see it light now? Camera's going in and out. It's, it, you're spoiling it, Matt. Is that any better? I am the real look, so you can see it's not me doing it. Is what? Are you gonna miss kick off? Why do they inter why do they interfere? I need the trip to Amazon a new chair. I think you deserve it after all the work I've done. It's locked down. Oh, videos, moodling. Not moaning, not moaning. I've loved doing it, but I think I need a new chair. It's worth it now. Because moodling, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere at all. So we've got, like, all these shapes here that can have an impact on how we sort of... I don't want these to sort of shine in your face, even though that one was there. Right, okay, so all these can have their own separate pattern, their own sort of dips and shapes in. So you can work to the line in between it or over it. So what do I mean by that? Well, it's really simple. I hate it when I have to use papers like this and I can't work with them because it's good paper. This. So this is from yesterday's um, doodles, yesterday. These pens were great. Um, so let's let's draw a line. So we've got that line there. Can you see? Draw it a bit thicker. Okay. What you can do is use that line, this line, as your centre. So if you wanted to, you would do your centre like that to get there. Or then it, you would need another line in between for your half, half line. So I'd have to put a line there. Or I can use this as from side to side which makes it bigger so in essence really what I'm doing if I show you that one there is I'm doing the same but I'm putting an extra line in so this one would only be like that so you can like a flower I 
I could do the petal in the line or put another one there so you can see I could do the petal so that the petals over two with one in the middle do you get there so there's loads of ways you can do them and these are really cool because if you think about all the shapes we've got now and you know and all the little patterns you can put in um the world's your oyster which it really is especially with this i have put a link on if you do want another one i'll put another one on for you like i said there is an affiliation thing there um i get it with some but not with all so if you do want to know um I'll, I'll find you some but i'm not affiliated with them all some are just there so these shapes are great can you see all these different shapes but you don't need to have them so i'm looking at this and i'm thinking right all i've done is in half in half in half so each section as i've come along i've just halved it so if we're going to do it again i would just do a half now i know this is not my normal moodle but I just wanted to show you that sometimes a nice way to move up is with like you can, you can call it a zendala um a tadala or a tandala our lovely tamara or you can just do right think um think of things like zen tangle zen doodle and you know i know we're, we're not affiliated with the um what's it called the what are they called or oh, the certified uh, tangles tanglers but you can actually you know for your own use and your own enjoyment you can use those patterns but not anything commercially so you've got to be you know make sure that you're right and, and if you do use anybody's influence as always please just name it um, I'm going to be working more on my website for obvious reasons um and i will be linking this up so that you'll have a new moodle every day but i'll be working more with youtube because i can do it i can do it better on youtube and i'm going to create the community on my website so that will be you know mindful moodle is on there which i think is a really good little thing and then you know you don't get um you don't get sidetracked with anything else or you know you can just sort of have our community there still have facebook i'm not leaving facebook but you know have a community that's sort of just for that for us so i can see now i've got tons of them now each time all i would do is and, and i've eyeballed the last one is just put another line in between so you can go as many as you want okay it was helping out to a fashion right so i've had my ablutions i hope you have yeah good now i'm looking at this and i'm thinking do we want the patterns that i've got in my books do i want i'm going to get the little book out look at my moodle doodles you see get your patterns out and have a look at what you really like about your patterns now i like the fact that we've got circles but then we've got these wacky that looks like a face that doesn't it screaming um monk and then you've got like patterns that look like um under a microscope and then this was a clean up and i just started to doodle in it i was on the phone i was doodle 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 on my phone and then we've got patterns like where we've done landscapes i know a lot of people have done these before and i appreciate all of them you know i'm not trying to copy them in any way it's just that in that day i wanted to do a moodle mention the name of your website and junk journals and mindful mixed media and then yeah of course we will yeah Wendy after excellent you're going to do some wrangling on your fabric oh that's cool then we've got the little round ones which are quite nice so i like the idea of it almost being like little pockets of interesting patterns but we're looking at the patterns that we've created and what we do like you see i've never done anything else with these and i think that's a good idea and then that's what i did just while i was sat coloring in 
and then this is another one with overlapping shapes and I look at the shapes some of the most successful shapes are the ones that I've not really paid too much attention to and they just seem to happen so I'm going to keep them as a reference I know people have said well, why don't you get a Moodle book out but yeah that's a good idea I know I'm going to be doing a lot more with studio like in Moodles so that'll be really good as well where we can do more together hi Tracy I hope you're well so going to go for the first thing is I'm going to create let's have a look I'm, I'm, I'm like that now what do we do what do I do what do I do what pattern do I put in so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an oval and I'm going to put three ovals a misty and if it doesn't work right I'll just fill the lot in go away no 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 there was no one there it was just a piece of paper kept flat stop flapping down it's flapping all over so this is just a gauge hopefully Oh, it won't work, look. Why is that? Right, you're doing me head in now. Go over there. So I'll have to do them in all of them. Right, so circles in the first one. Okay. I'm going to draw a line in between here. So I think this one... Don't know what to do about that middle one. I think I might rub them out. So I'm rubbing out the middle bit because they're too close. Just having it like that. Okay, just a, a target in the middle. Let me just get me over a pencil. It's driving me nothing back. find it stuff it i can't find it i can't find it sorry i just have to go with this i was trying to find the other stuff but i can't find it right okay so i'm going to start now i've got my circles so i think what i'll do is i'll just do um to this line every two a petal so what I'm doing is I'm doing over two so the line in the middle is the line for the top the half of the petal thing So they go to the top and then down. Looks a bit dodgy, but I've got my pen on there. So if you can just see, yeah. 
So the next one is, I'm going to put in zigzags. And I'm going to go every, miss two, miss two, No, that don't fit either. Boom. See what I mean? You've got to work this out, haven't you? You've got to think, right, what shape's going to go in there and what isn't going to go in there. And you've got to sort of think about... So I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to change it. And the way I'm going to change it is I'm going to put a curve up like that so it's got to a point in each one I'm going to ignore that now you can do don't rub it out yet right what I don't want is I don't want this shape to become it's easy to do that and I don't want that so when I've got the three I want it to become more of a up round and down not exactly like that or maybe it might even be better if you draw from the middle out. Do you get me? I think that's a better way of drawing. So let's try it. If I do it that way, the other way, I'm, I'm tending to round it. So if we miss one. Ignore the swearing. Yeah, that's better. That's a better shape. You start stopping, if you know what I mean. And you can do this. In, you pick a, a theme. Say you want a football theme. Say you want um, a flower theme. Say you want something else. See, again. I've done it wrong again. I've missed one and I shouldn't have. Oh, do you know what? It's one of them days, isn't it? Right, stop. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, Mr. Postman. Right, I can still see lines, so. That's better. Yeah, when I went shopping this morning, well, I call it shopping. I just called it to one shop. It's not like we used to go out, you know, and have a wander around. I don't do that anymore. Uh, well, you're not allowed to for a start. And I went out, and I was quite happy just getting me stuff. And you can see there's people waiting patiently everywhere, and you can see people ready to blow. And it's just like, at the moment, I've noticed how many people... I just like pressure cookies, just ready to pound. And um, it, it's it's the tension that we're in. We're, we're so unsure about what's happening and all that. Um, it's happening everywhere. It's happening, you know, places, especially like Facebook and stuff. We're, um, we're sort of trying to help each other out. But pe tempers are getting frayed and people are getting upset. And before you know it, it's like daft. But, I mean, with the shop this morning, it was like, wow, what's up with you? You know, but obviously this person was upset because he was waiting and he wanted to be served straight away. But, you know, you do get people who've got a bit mixed up with money or you, you've got to give them time. You know, and the, the cashier, she sort of said, there's only two of us. And I've got to, you know, I've got to do everything. And the lady there said, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't 
my fingers aren't working very well, I can't get my money out. And I really felt for her because, you know, and I don't think this man would have reacted like this at any other time, but because we're all on edge, it just sort of magnifies the situation. And I really felt for her. Really felt for her. Well, she had loads then, you know, saying the same thing, right? What, what, you know, what you're doing, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. But it was, it was really sort of eye-opening that people are getting really et up with things. And you're like, well, it's not, it's not, um, it's not worth it, but it is in their eyes because... It's annoying them. And I felt really sorry for this lady. But like I say, it all cooled down and she was fine. But, um, yeah, it was. And then on the news, it was like people are starting to go back to lockdown before. And that's fine. If you want to do that, and it's not fine. But if you want to do that, then you do it. But don't make sure that you don't include others. Because if you're sort of going to get walking around and, and you might be, you know, open to it. By allowing that, you will then, wherever you go, you're passing that on. So we have to be very aware that if you're going to have, make, you know, do these things, it has consequences. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, it's really strange, isn't it, how things change, you know, how, you know, at one point, as a, at an age you would do one thing and then at another age you suddenly your mannerisms change and you do something else and it's really it's really interesting how, how we change there we go so I've got like a really nice mandala nice and clean and clear and you know if I was to sort of copy this on tracing paper and then do layers i could have a spinny one that would be amazing so each layer of these you know you copy out you cut out and then you layer it and before you know it bod your uncle fanny's your aunt and you've got a wonderful sort of unspinny thing now if i was to do my flowers again up there it'd be like a chrysanthemum one of them flowers a chrysanthemum um a chrysanthemum that's the one, one of them big fluffy things. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at um, I'm looking at this little thing here and I'm just going to put a zigzag zag in. Now don't forget you can put like your zigzags in here. How's it holding up guys? How's the picture? How, how, how is it? How, where am I? There I am. Is it all right? See, I've got natural daylight here. Oh, I'm on. Oh! Small parcel. This has been opened. This is Lee Withers' knife print. Right, I'll show you what I've got. Did you get a postman there? Look at that. Oh, even the envelope. Oh, look! Lockdown Survival Queen, wishing you a very happy birthday and thank you for introducing me to the world of Mindful Moodles. It has made my lockdown more bearable. Have a great day. On this love, Melissa. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful, that? Thank you so much, Melissa. I've got another one here now. I tell you what, this has got to be a woman. You can tell by women. Oh wow! Oh wow! What's whoa? Hang on. What's going on here? 
believe in the fairies who make dreams come true. I do, I do, I do. I believe in fairies. Look at that. Oh, in that got look at his outlines there. Have you printed them on? Or have you drawn them? They're so neat. No, you've drawn them. Blooming at the eyes went funny then. Hope your birthday was as wonderful as you are. Sorry, I'm so late wishing you. I'm late, in, not so late, wishing you happy birthday, many old. Tracy Lee, that's gorgeous. And look at me present. Look at me present. Oh, my word, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, I could like put my little quotes and mantras in these. Happiness is found when you stop comparing yourself to others. Totally agree. Always believe something wonderful is going to happen. I do. Life fails to be perfect, but never fails to be beautiful. Absolutely. You will be too much for some people, so those aren't your people. That's true. Absolutely. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. Oh, yes. Shine like the stars. That's beautiful. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. That's true, that. Keep a dream in your heart. Oh, my God, Tracy Lou. Look how beautiful that is without lace. Look at that. That's beautifully made, that. Have you drawn that on? That's beautiful. I really love that, don't you guys? Look how she's done that. Oh, I wish you'd do a thingy for us. Show us how to do it. And it, you know everything, look. Oh, made like that. Oh, thank you guys. That's absolutely beautiful and blessed. I'm blessed, thank you. Oh, thank you. These are so, you know, a treasure. I've even got my pin on, but I don't want to stick my boob under the thing. Oh, thank you. I'll put them there. I'll, put them, I'll show Mark in a minute. Aren't they wonderful? Thank you. You don't know what that means. You really? I think you do. Some of you know what it means. Thank you, Jo. To think that she made them for me, I can't tell you. Anybody making something for someone else, it just gives you sheer pleasure, doesn't it? You know, when you make it for people who don't appreciate crafting, it's a bit hard, that, because you go, oh, yeah, that's nice. And then and you're like, I'm going to have a proper look at that. It's took me 25 hours. So here, I'm going to put in here, I'm just going to put a drop, but not two yet. So I've got a wiggle round, not a wiggle, a triangle. So I'm now going to build up. I quite like the idea of these look like cornices and um you know what they call buttresses? Um, no, they have You know, in the ceilings, they might be the ceilings of vault, vaulted ceilings and stuff. They have them there, prominent, don't they? Um, oh, you just missed Trace. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm just doing. I'm not doing them as good as you, but I'm just doing a flower one, just, just nice and sort of relaxing and. I really miss it downstairs because I can sit with it, with my toes on the carpet and wiggle them. I've got car the same carpet up here, but I've got to lean forward and it's like, it, you can't half tell. You can't half tell. Tomorrow, we have seen what I've got, I've just had made. Right, I've got my cards as well, look. Aren't they beautiful? But look, look at this. Isn't, that, isn't this lovely? You could do your own little pictures on this. Look how it's made, isn't that beautiful, Tracy? Tracy Lou made it, man. Isn't that gorgeous, that? Anyway, sorry, sorry. I just love, I, you know when you make me something or buy me something, it's like, it, it could be, now don't take this the wrong way, it could be 10 pence or 10 pound or 10 hundred or 10 million. And that it's not that, it's the thought that you've done it for me, you know, and saying thank you and happy birthday just to it. Uh, saying happy birthday and thank you to it means so much because, you know, I can't thank you enough. It's amazing. Right, I've got a little triangle here. 
and a little square on one of them one two three four five sided things so these are quite good because i don't do a lot of triangles so what i could do is do a triangle in there now if i do do that if you can just see it there and I, I won't go in with pencil because i'm mad because i can just do it straight with pen so let me check my pen out and i'm going to use a let's see i'm going to use a three I've run out, look, can you see? It's absolutely run out. I can't throw that. That fruit downstairs now. Don't fall over that pen! That's running out, but I don't care. Right, so I'm going to go straight in with it now. And I'm going to do the first part. Oh, it's running out as well. I don't know about you, but I get great satisfaction, you know, when... Can I just tell you something? Right, I shouldn't say this, but I weren't feeling too clever. Uh, I'm getting them now. I've just changed my whole attitude. Isn't that isn't that good? That that's so important. These little things that people do for you, and that's the whole ethics about this. Is about it's getting your work in and you know being creative but no pressure on you in any way and just enjoying it i think i've got about 200 videos now <laughs> that's cool isn't it you're welcome to watch them anytime they're all free but i have got some ones that i've got paid for if you go on Etsy so they're like diff slightly different a bit longer and stuff so I've, what I've done is I've overlapped some but don't worry because you can make that into a feature if it's gone a bit skew with so I'm going to put that in there but because it's a bit wobbly I'm going to put my wiggle line in okay so now I'm going to go Now I'm going to try it this way. So it's I've not picked up my crochet for ages, and I think I'm going to do that. But I'm also going to pick up my beading again. Um, I've got a beautiful kit there that Julia um, gave me. Julia, beauty. Oh, you want to see Julia bead? Oh, it's ridiculously. She's ridiculously clever. Um, and I have to, every now and again, break off from one craft to do another. So it keeps me sane. Oh, it's gone blurry. Um, right, sorry about that. Is that better? Yeah. All right, sorry about that, guys. I'll keep my own screen. Can you see? Is that a bit better for you now? It happened on a channel yesterday. I had it really good at morning and then by, uh, by, by the next hour it just went whoa and I couldn't see anything and I was like trying to run around and in the end I ended up and I had to sort of go offline and come back on again and oh, we've lost a few people oh never mind they can watch it later right so the thing is do I keep these in now and do I make these more pointed or do I make them more rounded and I've got a liking to do that so that and then intermittent with that oh, I've done it wrong oh, boom but if we ask Tamara maybe Tamara would do a really simple um, mandala for us because those are really intricate. Did you see the Celtic knots? 
she was doing. Uh, the amazing. I hope you didn't think I was being facetious when I said you've missed one. I'm sorry, I was only joking. It's a teacher in me. Right, so I've gone slightly different there. So the thing is, do I put something in here or do I have that as a... And I quite like the idea of that. Don't you? It's going out of focus again. How is now now? Oh, I nearly had my birthday there, didn't we? Do you remember a couple of years ago now? Oh, was it last? Was it last year, Miss Rana? So I've put that in, and it's weird how you start and your focus sort of shifts a little bit. But I quite like that now. This would be great. Do you remember Jane Nestorenko? Oh, bless. She was brilliant. Heart of gold, that lady. She introduced me to, you know, the layering with your glitters. I loved that. Absolutely loved it. And like the mandala building them up. Remember, she used to be beautiful boxes. Um, and it was, it was a work of art, a labour of love. And each layer was slightly different. And is the focus okay? Actually, I could use my noodling, couldn't I, for it? I've got the Arbus. Oh, I could use the noodling. I could take on the noodling. Hey, you could send your noodles in. How do you fancy doing that? That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right, how are we doing with this? Is it going in and out, in and out? I'm really conscious of that. Is that focused? Yeah, okay. Right, here, so we've got pointy, pointy, not pointy, pointy. Now, the thing is, do you want to introduce a line in? Let's rub out these lines just to see. Because, as you know, this is the first one I've done as a mandala, uh, a mandala noodle. And you can see how open it looks now. So, what you can do is just, rather than have a, oh, missed a line, rather than have a, a line all the way round this is where you can choose to get rid of those lines that we're drawing with pencil and just have an extended petal in there you don't need the circle do you you, you know the line around it if I look at that now that's got so much more I'm going to have to take the auto focus off this again right because can you see It's trying to find the light, the camera, so it's going all over the place. That might be a bit better. So can you see how I've extended the lines going down? Yes, I agree. Even if... Michael! Michael, can you put some of your work on, please? Michael's the... Um, the the coordinator for the UK and you do some really great stuff oh we could really promote it Michael for Tuesday brilliant I'll do some shapes with me Arbis I'll do another one tomorrow with it great stuff it's a good idea who thought of that that's clever anyway I'm going to put my dingy lines on now it's weird isn't it when I'm drawing with this pen now and um, how it's like when you walk in a pair of shoes if you walk in someone else's shoes it's very different into how they walk so it's like using this pen there's a way of using it do you use it side on do you use it this way this way and you'll find that there's a way that your pen works better for you oh yeah Now, Michael's work's really mathematical for the Orbis, but we could show both, couldn't we? We could show how we use it for the noodles. Um, and actually, if it weren't at a chanda, I'd be able to use it now just to show you how quick and how quick you can cut stuff out. I know I missed a line. Ah, why? I know, I know. I know. 
payback, payback. So I'm just going to do this here where I sort of got a little bit of a... Now there's nothing rude happening downstairs. It's just marks, you know, near misses in football. So, you know, there's nothing sad going on downstairs if you hear noises. I just wanted to explain that. I didn't want you to think there was, you know, any, any stuff going on. Right, is that all right? Oh, thank, thank you, Michael. Right, just so supportive of my moodles is Mark. He's, he's telling you to come on now. Come on, come on, he's saying to you. Come on, get it done. Michael, we'll, we'll... that's a good idea. Miss a line, <laughs> yeah, where miss a line, which line? There's a lot of them going around, isn't there, on Facebook at the moment? So, yeah, you're right, you could build up 3D lines with this just by putting shading in, and I'll do that. And I think I may, maybe black and white and pencil would work really well. I'm just making sure that the Yeah, you're right when you were scored. Was it a corker? Emma said it was a corker. Right. Shut up with shut up with this. Shut up. Right, here I think I'm going to go in between here and I'm going to draw like a egg. But please have a look at Tamara's because, oh my goodness me, she's done knots, she's done, um, actually Michael, you know, if you was to send some of them out to some of these moodlers, I am pretty certain that these moodlers would show you what they can do with it. And because it's trademarked now, I'm happy for you to do that, you know. And if you was to send out so that they could use it, we could easily advertise it. I know it's a bit difficult for you to get stuff out at the moment with your, with Wales being in lockdown, but I'm pretty certain, you know. Oh, that's awful, that one. Um, so, if anybody's interested in doing um, some really nice pattern forming for it, um, and for Glenn, the owner, or CEO, what they're called. What's broken? Oh, I'm missing out here. What's happening? I'm not, I'm not listening to football. Stop it. Right, what's this, Michael? What have you said? I say, yeah, yeah. Marcia and Andrew, Andrew would love this as well because it's well up his street. So here, I'm just going to do, I've got to do it. I don't know if you've seen the other ones we've been creating with circles. It's just... Um, you have to have a look, but the circle make would be perfect, wouldn't it? You know, little circles we make. You'd be really surprised at what we do with them. I hope you have a look. Oh, goodness, yeah. Right, well, Michael, if we can't do a lot for this time, we can do a lot for next time.
Okay? So I could do through that way as well and put let me try it in pen try it in pencil. That's alright that I'll go for it. Just go for it. Don't dilly dally on the way. And rather than it be a D2, I don't want it to be that, because that causes all sorts of stuff. What we could do is call it a, a group, a community, um, and then we could have designers. So nobody is going to be in charge of anyone. If you do work, then you put it on, and then, you know, Michael can use it. Um, you can use my name as well, not my name, my, my group name, um, and then that way, because we need to look after these little businesses, don't uh, don't we? We need to make sure that these people have, like us, um, some sort of I might get There we go. Karen Gartland would be really good with the because she's very mathematical, very designer, um, draft designing sort of thing. You need to know what Mark looks like. He won't put his face on. Hang on. I don't think he ever ever wants to be on Facebook, which is fair enough. Right, so I've got the doodle the doodle the ones there. Cotton bag well I did a cotton bag not long ago. Um I'll have to show it you Michael, I'll send you the picture. Um I did the pen art one, didn't I? It was smashing because I could just draw straight on with it then. I forgot all about that, you know. I knew I was doing the show, but when I didn't, when I, I left all the stuff there, Michael, so I haven't got the orbits at home, so I've not been able to use it, otherwise I would use it daily with this. I'd gladly use it daily because it would just make my life so much easier. Now, I've got these as well, so I've got a diamond that I can use, and a diamond's pretty, she says, easy, and I've got these last, oh, these are nice. Oh, look at that. Right, if you can see, I'll just show you what I'm doing. That fits perfect. Can you see it? There's only ever been one picture of me and Mark. And that was when I was wanted on Crime Watch. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm not. Right, can you, oh hey, look at that. You see, I think that's made like a silk purse out of a sow's ear now because they look like a bit like, well, like turds. So, have you got subtitles on? Is my man accent really making them strange? That'd be so funny, that. Right, okay. I am living doing this because I like the repetitive nature. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to do full on. Does that make any sense to people? I'm not in the mood to do full on like pattern that's never. Oh, this is, there's two Arbis. Oh, there's the cutter and the circle maker. And the circle maker is basically like this, but it's got, um, it's, it's got bare, well, bearings in. So you can draw any circle you want anywhere. 
and it's got different sizes so that you can fit pens in it. So it might be um, that you have a thick, both, it might be um, a one mil, and I think you've got a 0.5 mil, and it shows you all the way down. It's so clever, it's really clever. I'm just going to focus that down a bit more. Can you see now? Has it gone out? That's a bit better, isn't it? I don't know why I'm out of focus. That's really bad. There we go. So, yeah, it's a really clever little machine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just looking at this and thinking, right, what do I need in here? And you don't always need to fill everything, don't you? I have this grand idea that I've got to fill it all. And really... You know, not when we're leaving a bit of white space. Oh, that fits perfect. So, I'll have to move it like that because of the things, in not we? I'm whacking the camera if I don't. So this is just... is very unusual for what we're not what we normally do isn't it but it's just another way of enjoying your time i will be going into my room having a quick um chat you're very welcome to come in michael if you go to do journals and then you look along the header you'll see rooms and then we'll see Lou's room come up. You could even have an Arby's room in there if you wanted, where you could go and chat with like-minded people. Yeah. I've not got any problem with that. But it just means that I don't have any authorship or anything over it. I just, it's just with the group. So, but it is a nice, it's a, it's a lovely group. We're all like-minded, we all just want to create, not get involved with any other politics that are going on, you know, in the world or anywhere. We've sort of brought ourselves out of it, just, it's hard enough as it is, isn't it? But yeah, the Arbus is a great little tool. And once you bought it, that's it, you know. The only problem is, you will never, ever, ever think of enough things to use it for because it's just there's that much stuff you can do with it do you know what I mean you'll be there forever and you'll think oh you can do that and you can do that and you can do that right so I'm just going to put three little dots there big one little one little one now this is a bit I love because this is when it all comes together so that little tiny piece of work that we started with where it's all just a load of circles looking really rubbish now it becomes really individual really creative and this is where you can let yourself go because it's all about what you want to do this nothing to do with me i'll just show you how you can start and the rest is up to you i'm not a great believer in um showing making people sort of go your way I, I like to sort of start people off and let them go their way then so you can see a little tiny bit how different is that so what I'm going to do now is just put it on one side now these dots are probably colouring black because I don't do a lot of black work like that yeah I like that Right, I'm going to move them down now because can you see it's starting to look like they're attached so now I'm not going to do one on the other side because I want it to be for one side only this is another thing like I say we don't do a lot of you know where we actually make 
them or, or make it an opaque colour. Um, we tend to leave it all open like this one here. But yeah, that's another way into it of adding personality to your own work. Right, so we've got that. That's quite nice, isn't it? Please, please don't, don't be worried about coming in the room. You don't have to have your camera on at all. You can just work. Well, no, yeah, you can work. You can have it on a picture. You can have it off the camera and just chat. It's entirely up to you. Just going to put another line in there. I think this one is more for your pens. So if you've got secure pens, jelly roll pens, uh, shadow pens, any of those wonderful pens from Secura, then this is the time you can really get into colouring in with this because you're making your own pattern. Um, so, but you could also do a massive big wash over all of it and then let the colour um, sort of fade from that and stuff. So it's entirely up to you. You don't have to. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking patterns in here. Let's have a quick shift this. What have we got in here? You see some of these square patterns here are lovely, aren't they? And that one there. So you could do big circles, that one as, as well. I tend to just do circles and I need to do some squares and stuff, don't I? I need to do... Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it, where you get gradually bigger. I haven't got the, the other ones are downstairs. So, let's have a look at the lovely patterns I've got. No, it's off. And Tracy there. So you've got all, oh, look at that, that's nice, isn't it? See, she's got that pattern there. I like that pattern there, it's circle and then the border on it, so we could even use that. So, um, but sometimes less is more, isn't it? I'm just looking at all the patterns I've got. Oh, it looks nice on there, doesn't it? There you go, that's all you need. You don't have to follow anything I do. Um, and sometimes that's a good job. Um, you, you do your own thing, that's the important bit. It's just inspiration. Sometimes you just need someone to give you a push. And I can say, like, it could be scary. I understand that. But once you're in it, you're in it, you know, you're in, in a nice place. So I'm just going to put some colour in. Well, colour. It's not colour. I'm putting a bit of pattern in. It's doing it again into it. Look at that. Right, I'm going to colour in here in here. I think there's enough going on. Yes, it is an Argus. There you go, Michael's put it on. Um, oh, secret time, secret, secret. Right, I have got Something coming up in the future. It's all, it all has to be planned a year in advance. But we've got some members who've done some of the artwork for it. I'm not telling you what it is. Our lovely Philippa. Our day. And our Jane. Mm -mm -mm. Sent it all off this morning. Apart from doing, waiting for days. But, oh my word. How cool is that? I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it to on the um, promotion. 
It's absolutely beautiful. They can't show it here either because it's all hush, hush. Those cards and, and that little quote index, it's really cheered me up, that really cheered me up. I know what I've not got. There we go, that made me feel. When you're drawing a heart, just look at how you draw it. Do you draw it bigger on one side? Do you draw it the same? Do you start from the middle down to the bottom and up? Do you start bottom up round like that? Do you start see a lot of people that way? Some people do it that way, some people do it. It matter to me. When I'm fast and I'm doing like the stylized one, it's normally that way. So you've got a bigger one. I quite like that now. That's quite pretty. Um, but what we could do, I'm just looking at this now. Oh yeah. So this is what we call um, a folk one because it's long and thin. The folk art one has a simpler, longer shape than a, you know, a, a whimsy one, as they call them. See how I'm filling it up now? And I'm just going to do Can you see it? I hope so. In fact, I'm going to go around and do the circle first like that. And all to mine, and we don't have to say on this one, I did it on purpose. I didn't. See? Oh, yes. Look at that. That's going to be really pretty, that. Mark, picture's terrible. I've had to go really close with it. It's gone that out of focus. What you could do on this side is do three that are open, couldn't you? Oh, I like that. that. Now that makes sense. I start a really nice shape and then you go whopping. When you think about it, I started last March, so it's a, a year now. Um, I've not done one every day, that would be a lie, um, but I've got a few hundred videos now. Uh, we haven't half done a lot, have we, aren't we together? It's really, really surprising. Let's pull it oh. right down. Let's pull it right down and down here. And it keeps going like that. I think it's a light, you know. Um, Sorry if it's camera's a bit wonky with it. Hi Linda. Um tomorrow, uh, tomorrow Kevin Spacer.
Now, if you start using these, you're going to get a bit tricky, so I wouldn't. But if you want to colour things in, these are quite nice, and it's, oh, hang on, what I mean? These are quite nice because it's like a brush, so it's up, down, up, down. You know when you're doing your brush lettering? So it's like... So you've got a really nice sort of, but they're not great for these. But they are good if you want to colour a space like that. So we're at, we're at this now. I haven't done every day, Sylvia. Um, I've done, I'd say, a good three quarters. Um, Oh, I'm doing that again. Um, and then extras on a Sunday when I've been doing, like, the paid ones, but not the free ones. They're all, they're all there on YouTube. No, they're not. They're on, on, they're on here. But I'm going to transfer them. So I'm just looking at this now, thinking I could really go into my colour now. Just really colour that in. So it's now... Oh, my gosh, how did it get to being half one? Oh, right. Well, I'm going to have you leave you now. But I'm going to colour this in and I'll put it, show you tomorrow what it looks like. That's annoying me now. Ah, that's better. I can't be doing that. Um, the camera's up here I need to get the camera and the lighting set up I need a room where I can just do it don't I <sighs> do that right so if you do want to come in and join in and have a chat with everybody please do come in and have a look you go to Jug Journals and Marathon Media um, and there's a room it says Lee's room we go to rooms there's a couple of different names there um, and you can join. I'm going into Lou's room, so I'd love to see everybody there. Come in, we can have a chat, do a bit of colouring, and then I'll have to get off and do some work. But thank you again for your support, your time, your energy. And I, mean, I know your vibes, you've been sending me vibes. Oh. I know you have, because I feel them. So thank you so much. And I'm using the mind you paint. And these are my pants. <laughs> got these, the girls put together for me, Michael, and got me these Paul Wilbins ones. So lucky. So, thanks again to all of you. Thanks. I can't, you know how much I care. And yeah, if you want to go and have a look at some of the stuff I've got on Etsy, that's even better. Um, if you have a look and see some of the things that you can be sort of working towards, I'm not saying do it or pay for it or anything like that, I mean just working towards different styles, but it's even better if you can sort of just get a little bit of confidence from doing this. And thanks very much, you can go over onto my website, um, and there's a coffee jar there if it's always, but thanks everybody for your time and energy. Right, let me get it right. That, but oh, what is it? Love it! Hey, look at that! See you later!